Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I am cutting up some more rocks uh, using that newer saw again. I want to try a few more things on it and just see how they come out. Also just kind of a quick update with my health situation. So um, the surgery that I had months ago isn't quite taking hold. It isn't fixing what it was supposed to fix, although it did help reduce symptoms. So I can't really work normally, so I can't work a full eight hour day doing things that require a lot of talking or a lot of um, exercise or, or things like that, unless it's very minimal, such as like just walking around, that's fine. But unfortunately that does mean I need to see what options are available to um, kind of fix it to where it's stopping the symptoms. If we can stop the symptoms, then I can get back to being normal, <laughs> working normally. So I'll just keep you updated as things move forward with that. Um, which means that as I continue to go forward, I should be able to still rock hound fairly regularly as long as it's kind of low impact where I'm just walking around, picking stuff off the, off, off the surface. So no digging, no heavy lifting, none of that. Anyway, so that's that. And let's go ahead and get into the rock cutting. So last week I filmed inside and I didn't like how that turned out. So I'm back to filming outside, but it's not too windy today, but it is a little breezy. So hopefully the sound won't be too bad. Anyway, here's the first one. Starting things off with some black Levan agate that shattered. Unfortunately, it had some fractures going through it, but let's take a look at each of the pieces. Nice. Oh, that one's got some nice right there. Look at that. And there. Oh yeah, it's got this nice section going through it that's got a little bit of red in it. And I like that. And here. Oh, that is nice. This really ended up being a nice piece. And then there. So this is limestone with some uh, coral fossils in it. Take a quick look. Cool. All right. So that's a little piece of what would be a horn coral. Yeah, you can see, see a few on there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I just got the edge of that one. Cool. And there you go. Small piece of the Levan black agate. Yeah, not much in that one. That's all right. It still looks nice. Here's some of the Salina Wonderstone. It was already broken like this. So you can kind of guess what it's going to look like on the inside, huh? Still very nice. That is a nice piece. Yeah, see how it gives a pretty smooth cut, but then at the edges, it kind of breaks off a little bit. Here's another small piece of the Levan black agate. Oh, oh, that turned out nice inside. Look at that. That is a nice one. Here we have some good old Vernon Wonderstone. You can already see on the outside, this one's gonna be nice. And there it is. This one has a little bit more yellow color in it than most of them have. That's really nice. Yeah, I like that one. It's a little porous though. Very nice. And last but not least, some more of the Salinum Wonderstone and it's a long section. So I cut lots of pieces. Let's take a look. <laughs> cool stuff. Yeah, I like how we're getting a little bit of kind of a purplish color on the bottom. This is a 
nice one. Yeah, this one's turning out quite well. <laughs> Running out of space in my hand. Just quickly take a look at the last. Nice, Selena Wonderstone. And there you have them all cut open. So just kind of like last week, you can see how it cuts and then it kind of gets a little jagged on the end. Sometimes doesn't cut right, gotta make them pretty thick. But otherwise, it does a nice quick job and I do like that. And most of the cuts are pretty straight up into the end, so it has its pros and cons. And of course, those were pretty, pretty specimens. Anyway, until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.